in the black with the red cap to lead to Moreb in second, the two-tone blue. Racing in third, the white is deciding vote. Just behind those pulsating the dark green. Quite keen with the noseband is Sienna Dream. Towards the right, just off the pace then in the claret colours is Edge of the World under Josephine Gordon, racing alongside Cool Echo in the green and mauve jacket. Then the grey colours of Riverside Walk is towards the far side and the bat marker is Sitar being held up as they race for the first couple of furlongs here. Back with the leader, Granny Roz, in the centre of the track, leads to on the far side, Moreb, with Riverside Walk making ground in the grey colours. Ridden along at this stage is deciding votes, just off the pace, also under pressure is Edge of the World. As they come down now with two furlongs left to go, it's Granny Roz, who's kicked on to Moreb in second. Back in third place under pressure is Sienna Dream, it's still Granny Roz, who's not stopping, Moreb giving chase. And then back in third, Sienna Dream, a furlong to go, can Granny Roz last home? She's drifting towards the near side of the track for Jane Elliott, but now has a rail to help it's granny ross straightened up in front to moreb who's trying to close in second but granny ross is in front by two lengths and it's granny ross for the race here granny ross wins to moreb second third sienna dream and fourth was pulsating <laughs>
Blackwell, Synergy and Bertie Barnes to the rear of the field. Tightly grouped up they remain as they head now towards the next flights of hurdles. Numbers four and five await them in the home straight. Pinch of Ginger is not looking a very easy ride here for Will Kennedy. Has been right up there throughout, but Will having to encourage him along every now and then. And again there, Gray's choice was pretty tentative over that flight of hurdles. Didn't really jump it with any zip as Pinch of Ginger still leads. From court in the middle in second, taking the next of their flights. Third place then for waiting on a sunny day. Out wide on the track is High Wheeler with those both Gray's Choice in company with Amble in and in touch is Bertie Barnes. At the back of the field is Blackwell Synergy who's now being pushed along as they race up to the right-hand turn that will take them down towards flight number six. Away from the stands then, Pinch of Ginger. Still not travelling particularly kindly here for Will Kennedy but Will keeping him in front for the moment ahead of Court in the middle, who races along in second place. In third position, High Wheeler, not too far away from them, and neither is waiting on a sunny day, who still remains handy enough. One of three leaders, in fact, there over that flight. Blackwell Synergy just lost a little bit of ground with a slow jump there. Under pressure away from that flight of hurdles, Amble in got a reminder or two. Bertie Barnes still going fine, and in behind them, Gray's Choice is still very much in the thick of things as they race then to the bottom turn that takes them towards flight number seven. Up front, caught in the middle, leading up, driven along Pinch of Ginger to hold second on the inside, and then to the outer goes, waiting on a sunny day, still traveling kindly enough. Fourth place for Gray's Choice, despite some indifferent jumping, he's still right there with Bertie Barnes and then comes Amble in as they now race on, losing ground as they approach the next flight of hurdles is High Wheeler and Blackwell Synergy some way off them as they take the next flight. And one or two awkward jumps again there, particularly from Amble in. Racing then towards the next flight. Four from the finish this will be when they get to it. Pinch of Ginger still chivied along. Disputing the lead with Court in the middle, out wider. That is waiting on a sunny day. Followed then by Amble in, and then Gray's Choice in the middle of the chasers. To the outside, jumping into all oh, there. Amble in is gone. Amble in, unseats rider. Just about to say Bertie Barnes making quite nice progress on their heels. Gray's Choice now really driven along, and the back marker now is High Wheeler because Blackwell Synergy has been pulled up. They're racing then uphill toward the third last flight of hurdles. And coming there looking quite strong is waiting on a sunny day. Behind him is Bertie Barnes. On the inside, pinch of ginger. Will Kennedy really earning his fee. Gray's choice is in fourth place as they take the one on the side of the course. Weakening away tamely now is caught in the middle. And looking very weary is High Wheeler as they now race round the turn towards the final two flights of hurdles. Going to be a long slog for home here. Waiting on a sunny day. Leads by half a length from Bertie Barnes to the outside. Pinch of Ginger is four or five lengths away. Then trying to rally is Grace Choice toward the outside. Stopping quickly and pulled up is High Wheeler as they now race on towards the final two flights of hurdles. Bertie Barnes coming to take the lead this side. Jump that one well. Ahead of waiting on a sunny day. Both the two leaders rolling around a little bit. Clear of Gray's choice in third. But it is now Bertie Barnes who has come clear in the hands of Tom Bellamy. And quickly he's gone ten lengths clear as well. Bertie Barnes at the last ran down it slightly. He's entitled to be waving around a little bit here in testing ground. Second place waiting on a sunny day. Followed then by Gray's choice. And they're walking home here. Walking fastest, though, is Bertie Barnes to win in the hands of Tom Bellamy. Eventually, the deficit was reduced by waiting on a sunny day to about five lengths. In third place was Gray's Choice. And fourth home, Pinch of Ginger. First, and number one, Bertie Barnes. Second, number 11. Third, number seven. And the fourth placed horse, number two. 
The full result of the Emissionalese Florist and Handicap Hurdle Race. First, number one, Bertie Barnes. Second, number 11, Waiting on a Sunny Day. Third, number seven, Grey's Choice. And the fourth placed horse, number two, Pinch of Ginge. The winning distances were six lengths and twelve lengths, six lengths and twelve lengths. Energy has been put.